Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, everyone. Make a shout out to all the subscribers and followers of this channel. And if you're new to my channel, please. <laughs> Subscribe to like, share. Don't forget to ring the bell buttons for the next notification. Like. Leave a comment. Subscribe. Or subscribe. Hello. Hello. Hey guys, um let us continue our review for this is Mathematics 8, Second Quarter Reviewer, Part 2. And this is your teacher, Maripe Medanis. Alright, so let us continue. So given the time and salary, which of the following, the two is the independent variables. So of course, we cannot answer A, D, and C. So... Ang pagpipili, ano natin ay salary and time. What do you think? The correct answer is time. Okay, 19. Which of the following is not a function? Now, paano nyo malaman na function? Kapag function yan, it's either diretso yung graph or my one-to-one -one or my many-to-one. Um, okay, so in this particular question, the answer is C. Okay, so this is supposed to be number 20, no? Number 20. So the, the what is the domain of the function y is equal to 3x minus 3? The answer is D. So x is x are, are the elements of real numbers. Okay, 21. In the given relation, what to mean values corresponds to the range value negative 2? The answer is 0. Okay, let us see. And a method of determining whether a graph represents a function or not is called a vertical line test. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, well, among this graph here, which of the following graph is not a function? Of course, uh, this is a function. Uh, so, A, B is a function. This is a function. This is a function. Uh, the answer is letter A. Okay. Next, number 24. What is the domain of the relation shown at the right? So, what do you mean is the domain of this? Okay. So, then for the answer is P. X is, X is uh, greater than or equal to negative 3. Yes. It says here. Okay, 25. What is the range of the equation y is equal to negative 3x squared plus 7? So, for the domain, of course, we have here uh, a, 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 no, because y is such that y is greater than or equal to 7. So, just, just another point. Okay, 26. The domain of the function f of x equals to x minus 2 over 3x plus 2 is the set of all real numbers except negative 2 thirds. Okay? Now, which of the following represents a graph? So, this graph, what does it represent? The answer is x is equals to 2. No? So, that because here the, the point is in the um, or y axis or the x axis point two. Okay. Next number twenty eight. Which of which form is the equation of the equ this equation is equal to negative two x plus five in? Okay. So this is uh, an example of a slope intercept 
form. Huh? Which of the following is a linear function? Okay, what do you think? The answer is C. F of x is equals to 2x plus 1. It's a linear function. Number uh, 30. If f of x is equal to 3x squared minus 3, then f is negative 4. That means yung, yung x ninyo, palitan nyo ng negative 4. The answer is 29. Okay? Number 31. Which equation fits the, the situation? 2 inches tall plant grows 1 and 1 half inch every week. Okay? So the answer is letter C. Right, so we have here two, so one half plus two. Okay, well, number 31, which, okay, this is supposed to be 32, which a linear equation is in a standard form. So by just looking at it, the answer is D. D is in standard form. 33, so for number 33, Laura is three years older than the twice. Joseph is, if Laura is 37 years old, how old is Joseph? Okay, just think it that way. So, three years older, uh, Laura is three years older. So, if he is um, uh, 27 years old now, of course, Joseph's age is 12. Okay, if part of the conditional statement is called hypothesis, what do you call the then? The then the is the conclusion. Okay. Next. Yeah, same question here. Then the kind of an if and then statements with the form if not P then Q. If not B then Q, the answer is inverse. Okay. All threes are living things with statement below will make a valid conclusion. Mm -hmm. All threes are living things which of the following will make a balanced conclusion. The answer is C. Therefore, Nara is a living thing. No? What is the inverse of the statement below? If you are good citizen, then you will be rules on regulation. The answer is D. It's the inverse, the negative. If you are not a good citizen, then you will do not obey rules and regulation. Next number 38, which of the following is the converse of the statement if you are in love, then you are inspired. If you are inspired, then you are in love. That's the converse that I see. Next, number 39. If two angles are supplementary, then they have the same, the sum of 180 degrees is the inverse of what? Inverse. The answer is yes. If two angles are not supplementary, then do not, they do not add to 180 degrees. So, inverse. So, the kabalik taran. Give the converse of the if and then statement. If a polygon has four sides, then it is quadrilateral. So, let's find the converse. The answer is, if, the, if it is a quadrilateral, then it is a polygon with four sides. So, here, letter B. 41. Write an inverse of the given statement. If it is a square, then it is a rectangle. Okay, letter C. If it's not a square, then it's not a rectangle. It's the inverse. 42. Write the statement as conditional. In if and inform, complainer points are points that lie on the same plane. Here, the answer is. C. If points are coplanar, then they lie on the same plane. Okay. 
Next, which statement is contradiction of the statement XY is congruent to RT? The answer is A. Okay, so it's contradict because it says XY is less than RT. So this area is correct and this one is wrong. Okay, next. 44 is the following statement true. If an angle measures 30 degrees, then it is acute. What do you say is the answer? The answer is yes. It's true. Okay, 45. Alice is going to the emergency room because she has fractured arm left, her left her arm. Bone fractures are always painful, therefore Alice is in pain. Identify what kind of reasoning is this. The answer is in back view. Okay, it's from Pacific. Okay, next, 45. If A and B are vertical angles, what can we conclude about A and B? Answer is they are congruent angles. So, because they are vertical, they are congruent angles. 47. The first step of an indirect proof is to. What do you think is the answer? Assume the negation of what you are trying to prove. No, so I assume. Next. If angle C, F, E is an obtuse angle, what is true? Mm -hmm. So A, B, C. So the answer is C. If it's obvious, then it is greater than 180 degrees. Uh, greater than 90 degrees. Okay, letter C. Next, what is the converse of the statement? If x is on odd, then 3x is odd. Do so you think it's the answer? The answer is C. If x is not odd, then 3x is not odd. It's the converse. Is that converse or inverse? If x is odd, then 3x is odd. Hmm. It should be letter B. 3x is odd, then x is odd. The opposite, so, because in converse, we try to put the conclusion at the beginning, left side, no? So we change the hypothesis and the conclusion. Next, what assumption would you make at the start the end direct proof of if 3x plus 7 is greater than 13, then x well, yeah, two is less than two. Okay. Okay, so hope you had a lesson for today. Uh, you enjoyed the, the review and... Okay, so then don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And for questions and clarifications, write in the comment section. Remember, gratitude is the best attitude.